I remember how it feels. You know, having 200 different Instagram models and gurus tell you 200 different things to do. It, it can get very overwhelming very very soon. So these are my 5 tips of what you should do or keep in mind when you start off. First, do you need to join a gym? No, you do not need to, but if you can, definitely do. See, this answer depends on a couple of things. Firstly, what your goal actually is, and regardless of the goal also, you are a beginner. You are going to need some guidance, and the better your guidance, the better and safer your results. But at the same time, I also understand that shelling out that much money to join a gym and get your trainer can get very expensive very, very, very quickly. And honestly, when I started off, I wasn't comfortable doing that. I just joined the gym. I never got a trainer. And I, I figured out my way sooner or later. But yeah, I, I understand. You do not want to be spending that much money just when you start off. And then there's also the question of, will you actually go to the gym for more than 10 days? So what can you do now? The best thing you can do right now is use whatever resources you already have available and believe me, you have a lot of resources available. You can easily start off with Nike Plus or Freeletics or one of those apps, choose a low intensity beginner workout and you're safe. You're completely safe, no need to worry over there. Do that, do that for 10, 15, 20 days and then you'll have a much better idea of if you should be joining your gym right now or not. And especially with the lockdown going on and everyone sitting at home and working out, it works, you can clearly see. People who actually work out regularly at home with minimal or no equipment, it works. It gives great results as long as you actually do it. So yes, 100% recommended, do that. Start off with your own home workout and sooner or later you'll have a much better idea if joining a gym, investing in a gym and getting a trainer or doing all that is a good investment for you right now. And you definitely do not want to be going out on this. Anyways, to the next point. How much protein do you need to consume and is your diet going to give you enough of it? I have an idea. To answer this question, let's get some new faces over here. Hi guys, this is Prateek from Evolve Fit and we are trying to build a fitness community to help everyone take their first step towards a healthier lifestyle. Proteins. You all might have heard this term, but do you know why they are so important? To begin with, they help us to build our muscles. They make antibodies and hormones and help in the overall growth of the body. If you're someone who doesn't know how much protein you should consume, you can start with 1 gram per kg of your body. That is for a sedentary lifestyle. But if you're someone who is working out regularly or lifting heavy, you can target 1.6 gram per kg of your body weight. The reason why we are talking about protein is usually the normal Indian household meal, which consists of roti sabji dal chawal, lacks the minimum amount of protein required for your body. So to make sure that you are hitting your minimum requirement of protein, you can start tracking how much protein you are consuming as well as how much calories you are consuming. And no, weight doesn't contain steroids. So you don't need to worry about any adverse health effects which weight might have on your body. It's just a quick food substitute. That's all. Thank you. Third. Fitness isn't expensive and you do not need to buy anything extra while starting off. See, you only, and I mean it, only need a comfortable pair of clothes and a pair of shoes to begin. And probably protein powder if you're not getting enough protein from your diet. But other than that, you need absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. No other supplement anyone will try to sell you. No BCA, no creatine, no pre-workout, no this, no that. Nothing. They are just not required, nor are they going to be helpful, at least not at this stage and probably, most likely, not ever. And if you're so keen to waste your money, give some to me. Now we're getting to the spicy points, results and lack thereof. See, a very basic thing to keep in mind, a rule of thumb really is that you're going to see absolutely no results for the first 4 weeks. And even after the first 4 weeks, if you aren't seeing too much of a difference, you need to ask yourself one question, are you actually following your diet and working out the way you're supposed to, are you following your plan? In 99 out of 100 cases, that's the only problem that's there, people underestimate how much they're eating and overestimate how much they're burning. And okay, okay, if you're actually following your plan and still are not seeing results after 4 weeks, don't look at your weight and your body fat percent as a very good marker of your result since they aren't as accurate as you think they may be. 
they're dependent on just so many factors that you can't really depend on them for accurate results so i've actually already made a video on this you'll see it on the screen somewhere here it's a decent video and i can i can work with some new views and subscribers you know and finally the most important point use common sense the best tip i can give you is that if it sounds too good to be true it is 8 kilos weight loss in 4 weeks double your strength using a patented training plan weight loss pills and some ayurvedic jerry booty are just not worth trying do not try them they're a waste of money waste of time complete waste and if someone tries to sell them to you don't buy them supplements are not bad those people are just trying to make a quick buck off you so don't buy them you're just starting off you do not need to buy anything to start off just start and in case you still want to waste some money i could really use some new clothes here so you know what to do and see i understand how intimidating it can be i started off not too long ago and you do not want to put your body through questionable shit in case you find anything to be even slightly questionable get a second third and a fourth opinion you do not want to put things in your body or make your body go through things that are questionable as long as you do that you are going to be safe so sit back relax click on the subscribe button down there and get ready for a really long but really fun journey ahead and yeah don't forget have fun it's a long journey it's very difficult but have fun and understand it's not a jail make yourself feel at home don't tense up so much just take a deep breath sit back of course subscribe and relax have some fun on the way and if you have any other questions feel free to ask me with the quarantine i don't have much to do in life so and you're a big boy or girl you can you can find me i'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions and i'll see you next time